Yo, welcome to Hot Takes with Cheddar Chaz. There's no hand holding. We do with fast and emotion. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification if you haven't already. Shout the Miller Light, DraftKings, and Topo Chico. You got to support them because they support us. So, um, Pelicans are coming off a not so great um defeat, not so great effort um against the Milwaukee Bucks. Uh, the attention to detail, the effort just wasn't there. They seemingly abandoned everything they had did well in the uh, Utah Jazz matchup. Now, of course, um, the Milwaukee Bucks are a much more talented team than the Utah Jazz, but um, they're ranked maybe, what, 28 or something like that, near the bottom of the league defensively, not particularly good uh, against, you know, with defending the three-point arc. And um, that's the reason why their head coach was ultimately let go. Um, and the Pelicans have seemingly shown this um, several times when they're up against the uh, upper echelon of teams in the NBA. You saw what happened against OKC, this terrible effort across the board, terrible effort. Um, you saw what happened with Milwaukee, Phoenix, Clippers. They beat OKC earlier in the season. That was without Brandon. Very physical game. They did have Zion in that game. CJ had a hell of a game. Uh, Shea Gears Alexander hurt his ankle, so that may have played a role into it. And that was uh, earlier in Chet's development. You know, um, so much different team that they faced this go around. Milwaukee Bucks always play well against the Pelicans. Too much size, too much strength, too much uh, physicality. And that's the number one thing that makes the uh, Pelicans fold, especially when they're completely healthy. When this team is healthy, the physicality is always an um, issue for them. When they're missing a guy or two, seemingly they're sharper mentally. They, they seem to be sharper and tougher mentally because they know they're back against the wall and they have to come out and they have to respond to the physicality. So now they're facing the Boston Celtics, another team that's you know pretty physical. They got Drew Holiday. I'm not sure if Chris is Porzingis is going to be out there. He had a really rough ankle injury. But tonight is another game where you really got to go out there and you got to match this team's physicality. You have to match this team's physicality. Christmas, you know, he's dealing with an ankle injury, like I mentioned before. You got to attack him and you got to attack him aggressively. He's a shot blocker, but you got to, you got to, you know, put Zion on him, JV on him. You got to attack his chest. You got to get him in foul trouble, get him off the uh, floor. Uh, Horford, still a solid defender, but he's nowhere near the guy he used to be. Drew Holiday, we know he's incredible defensively. Uh, Jalen Brown, even Tatum, these are strong physical guys. You have to match their intensity. You have to match their physicality. They're a team that takes a lot of three-point shots. If they have an off night, they may shoot themselves off the floor. So it's going to be up to you to rebound, get the ball out in transition, get quick buckets, attack them at the rim, get to that free throw line. Because again, when you take a lot of three point shots, if you have an off night, you always have the possibility of shooting yourself out of rhythm, shooting yourself off the floor. You've seen recently with Devin Booker, you know, he's having some great offensive outputs, but his offensive outputs are coming at the demise of the team overall. He's scoring 60 points, but other guys are not getting a chance to get into rhythm. So with the uh, Boston Celtics, you might see Tatum take about 12 threes if he's having an off night. That's someone else who's not going to be able to develop their rhythm. You have to take advantage of that. Jalen Brown, he likes to take a lot of pull-up threes if he's having an off night. That's someone else who's not going to be uh, getting into rhythm. You have to rebound, get out, push the transition, and take advantage of that. You have to be sharp and quick um, and mentally tough with this basketball team. Boston is the top of the East right now. They're coming off a very embarrassing defeat versus the Clippers, and they got they out for blood. They they out for blood, especially for a Western Conference team and their home. They had a, a loss against the Denver Nuggets. They had a loss against the Denver Nuggets at home, so they're going to really be um, upset about that. They're going to really try to protect their home base as they should. NBA fans, the wait is over. Basketball's back, and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA, is celebrating with an unbeatable offer. New customers can score $200 instantly in bonus bets for throwing down $5 on the NBA. Win or lose, it doesn't matter. You'll start the season with an instant dub. Basketball's more fun when you're in on the action. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code BOOT. New customers can get $200 in bonus bets instantly for betting just $5 only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code BOOT. The crown is yours. And the Pelicans got to be up to the challenge. The Pelicans got to look at what happened these past few games and just see that yo in, in intensity wise physically um sharing the ball there's too many there's too many peaks and valleys with this team it's too many peaks and valleys with this team i would like to see them go back 
to point Zion and implement that and just play a fast, aggressive brand of basketball. You don't have to match uh, the Boston Celtics three point shooting output, but you do have to at least take the threes. You have to, you have to, um, you got to have the wherewithal to understand the math equation going on here. Brandon, he had a lot of really good jumpers from the mid range, but when you're countering Damian Lillard shooting threes, Pat Connaughton shooting threes, Bobby Porter shooting threes, Malik Beasley shooting threes with difficult twos. It's the math just doesn't add up, man. The math just doesn't add up. And Willie Green and the coaching staff, they have to understand that. I would like to see a return to the uh Point Zion uh brand of basketball. I think in the past, when they have performed well against the Boston Celtics, you saw a bit more of that. I always go back to that um that Stan Van Gundy year. When Point Zion was starting to get implemented, and you saw um that team come back from down maybe 20. And uh you had Zion in overtime kick out to a wide open Brandon Ingram on the left wing, and he knocked down a game winning three. We need to see more of that tonight, and we need to see that consistently tonight. You know, with the Pelicans, the minute something ain't working, they go back to their old ways and they just you know curl up and get in the feeder positions. Nah, stick with the game plan. Stick with the game plan. Build some consistency. Sometimes it's going to work. Sometimes it's not going to work. But as long as you stick with the game plan, you'll be able to create those good habits and you'll be able to carry that over. So the next time you see this team or the next time you see an upper echelon team, you'll be able to say, hey, you know, that didn't work last time, but we found something in that that did work. Let's try it again. Like, even if you're generating a lot of wide open jumpers, if they're just not falling, hey, you generated a lot of wide open jumpers. Maybe they'll fall this game. You just got to find something to hang your hat on consistently with this team. It's too many, you know, we play this way one day. We play this way the next day. We play this way the next day. It's like, no, if you're going to do the point Zion thing, lean into it. Let's give it a chance to succeed or fail. Let's not abandon it just because some people may be uncomfortable with it. No, you got to lean into it. You got to lean into that brand of basketball. Yo, that's been today's show. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I got the Pelicans winning tonight. Uh, Got the Pelicans winning tonight in a close game, man. You know, that, that might just be the team supporter in me, but I think the Pelicans are going to shock the world tonight and get this W. But that's been today's show. I'm out. Peace.